Hello, my artistic friends. This is artist Susan Jenkins, and I am so happy to be bringing you a video here in Monet Cafe on the YouTube channel because many of you know that I have not been uploading for a while because of my home and my art studio flooding due to Hurricane Irma. So it's been over a three and a half month uh, ordeal and uh, I haven't been able to paint until I just got my studio together. Uh, you might want to see the video I uploaded before this one for my new studio, the new improved Monet Cafe. But today is going to be a little bit different of a tutorial than I normally do. I, of course, normally teach painting tutorials, uh, primarily in the medium of pastel painting. But many of you have asked, and others have just asked, how do you get your artwork on different products? It's really fun to see your artwork on, you know, for example, a coffee cup or, or just a print. Um, you can get a canvas print, a regular print, you can get it on wood, on acrylic, you can get your artwork on t-shirts, on tote bags, and you know, Fine Art America, this is the company that I use primarily, they have done an amazing job of being able to offer different products for you to put your artwork on. Alright, so now I am in my screen that shows my own little um, website that you can share with others to see all of the products that you have uploaded. Um, it is actually a company called Pixels.com that works with Fine Art America and allows you to create like your own website. You kind of get assigned a name. I think I, I, you might be able to change it, but that was my name for this site. Now, um, oh, that's a much younger picture of me. I need to update that to be truthful. <laughs> Just been too busy. I'm going to stay young forever. Um, now, I'm going to click this. Uh, this is the Monet Cafe logo that I just created. Lots of people in our group, we got a, a positive um, response to uh, taking our logo that I just created and putting it on some products. So that's what I did and um, I'll just show you kind of using this some of the different products that you can use uh, or create by uploading your own paintings. Uh, over here it shows you all the various products. Now this is the way it's going to look. Ignore that little green box. That's a little way you can um, click and see how high the resolution is on an image if you want to buy a painting from someone else and you want to make sure it's high resolution. Um, but anyway, notice how it says the Pastelist Art Group. That's the way this logo is going to look, even though sometimes when you change an image in here, it takes it a while to catch up. I'll show you, for example, like right here, I'm going to click this bag. These are the different products I have put this logo on. And by the way, you guys uh, visiting YouTube, I know we have a lot of um, YouTube subscribers on our channel. And of course, we have the Monet Cafe art group that has already said they would love to get some products like this. But um, but anybody watching this YouTube channel, you can just go to the site. I'll have it uh in the about section if you would like some products too. So it's open to anyone. But anyway, I'll click on just this tote bag right now and uh, show you what I mean. The Pastelist Art Group is kind of going to go away, but it will show up if you were to buy this. This, Like I said, it takes it a while to catch up when you change things. But this is an example of what the, the tote bag looks like. It's cool because when you put your painting on it, they'll have a little image you can click and you can see you know, a real life person holding your tote bag. It's cool how Fine Art America does that. So anyway, that's just an example. Now there's other products down here. This was my reason for creating the logo in the first place was to make a Monet Cafe coffee mug. I thought how appropriate because it's just our little happy place where we learn and grow together as artists and a, it's called Monet Cafe so a cup of coffee would just be a, a coffee mug would be a perfect item to put this logo on. Uh, I'll show you real quick while we're here. You can change things like I typically have the background here as default to white um, but if you notice if I if I click this mug here you can see it's got this gray background here and if you were to order this I would change this to white just so the whole cup is white you'll see what I mean um, probably getting into too much detail here before I show you how to start it but this way you can just kind of see oh that's so fun I can put my artwork on all these things okay so now I'm gonna show you how to do that okay so what you're going to do is I'm just gonna go back to fineartamerica.com if you were brand new you've never had an account this is the screen that you're going to see when you get started alright and from this screen uh, I've already signed in, so let me um, let me see if I can sign out real, real quick here, log out, yeah. I want to do it like you're just brand new starting, and uh, you're going to create your own account in Fine Art America. So, what you're going to see is not sign in, because you don't have an account, you just need to join. So you're going to click join, and you want to join, if you're, you know, coming to this from my 
my art um, communities uh, on YouTube and Facebook, you're obviously an artist, okay? So you want to click this. You know, buyers can join too. Um, so you want to click Artist Photographer, and then you just basically upload your information, okay? So um, after you do that, you will be a member, and then you can click Sign In. And to my knowledge, I, ha I have um, so many different accounts. I can't totally confirm that this site is free, but I'm, I'm fairly certain it's free because they they make money by selling your products. You get uh, you mark up what you want to earn on each product you sell, but they make money and you make money. So I'm almost positive that it's a free, um, a free site you can use. So you just click sign in like I did there and you log in and then it will take you to your new page. Now, they always have a little announcement here of some kind of new feature. They have gotten so many products now. Now they have fleece blankets you can put your art on. How cool is that? Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go to my account. Now, if you're brand new, you're not going to have anything in your account, okay? But here's um, where I go into my account. There's my name. I go up to Behind the Scenes. And this takes me to my my hub of all the things that I can do. These are all the different things you can do here. Um, and it's really too much to go into in this video. I just kind of want to get you going and show you how to upload some artwork. Now, if you look down on this page, you'll see you get your own website. And now, of course, you can have your main Fine Art America uh, page with all of your products, but this one is a better website for you. Pixels.com is working with Fine Art America, and uh, they have a neat little um, template, and it already lays it out for you on every product that you enter. Um, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like real quick. I think they auto-generate your name for you, um, you know, which that's fine with me. I don't see a need to change that. But if I, that's my website. If I was to tell somebody to go find my products, that's the website I would tell them to go to. Okay, so now it shows all the things. I've got a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of pages after this even. Tons of work um, because I've been with them for a long time. But um, anyway, so that is just a general idea of how you get to your main page. Now I'm going to go back. Uh, and just pretend like we're brand new and I'm going to start a new product. Okay, so here we are back in the behind the scenes uh, section of Fine Art America. And again, you've already logged into your account. And I'm just going to go down here. Now, what I was saying before is you also have a Fine Art America profile as well as this Pixels one. Again, this is the one that it, it actually is easier for viewers um, or buyers to get around in. Um, but I'm going to go here to this section and I'm going to go to artwork. I think there's various ways, just like with anything on computers. There's like five or six different ways to do things and you just kind of find out the easiest way for you. So now um, I'm in my my hub where I can actually upload, delete, whatever I want to do with my images here. But I'm just going to go ahead and upload an image, um, one that I haven't uploaded before, so you can kind of get an idea. Now if you're brand new, you're not going to have any products down here. Um, there's some other neat features here too. It shows you when you join, how many followers, visitors. It works kind of like Facebook. You can follow people, they can follow you, and uh, it's like a little community of artists. It's really fun. Um, now. I, what was the other thing I was going to show you? There's all these different settings up here that I might can go into later. I don't want to get this video too long, um, but for now, I'm just going to upload an image, okay? I'm going to go to a place on my computer where I have already saved an image, and that's another video I would like to do where I give you information of how to go about um, taking good photos of your artwork so that you can um, get a high resolution image so that if you put your artwork on prints or products they come out I'm sorry I've got so many things in here I'm just gonna find this painting that I, I think that's it right here um, so that you have a good high resolution image you don't want to upload something that's low resolution because people might order your products or you might order your products and it looks grainy or fuzzy and you don't want that so you definitely want to first um, whether you scan in your painting or you take a good photograph of your art, that's key to get a high resolution photo. Um, now this one, I think I just took this with my iPhone, but you know, to tell you the truth, there are some iPhones have a pretty good uh, uh, reproduction with their photos now because the cameras have gotten so much better. So I'm just going to show you in um, kind of how I go through doing this. I am going to, this one I called Winter's Exodus. 
And the reason for that was because this was the first painting that I did in my new Monet Cafe art studio since the flooding of my other studio. And even though it's the end of winter, well, not totally the end of winter, but we're going into uh, January and a new year, I found this uh, image on the uh, Paint My Photo website. It's a great place to find reference images if you want a, a copyright free reference image to paint. I found a black and white photo that was just beautiful and it really, um, I don't know, it was just a personal thing to me because I feel like I'm headed out of winter. The last quarter of 2017 was pretty rough for us and um, I I gave my own uh, interpretation to the photo since it was black and white and I wanted to make it where it was going from the cold into the warmth because I feel like brighter days are ahead and uh, God's been good through this whole storm that we've been through. So anyway, back to how we do this. Now what you do here is you enter in um, keywords where people can find your work or if anybody types this in as a search. Um, sometimes I will do things like winter landscape. Um, snowy road, things like that. Uh, I'm not going to go into too many here. I can go back and edit this later. Then you just give it a description. Uh, this is the first painting that I did in my new studio, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll change that later. And again, you have all these options of things you can do. Here you're going to choose what it is. Most likely uh, it's a painting. Oh, they they didn't, I don't think they used to have a uh, pastel or maybe they did but you know what I pick painting on this typically notice I show the medium is soft pastel most people if you're a soft pastel artist they don't search for pastel you know it's just it's a painting and I consider pastel artwork it is absolutely a painting now these are things that are kind of set by default uh, you definitely want your full resolution preview that's the thing where I showed you you can your buyer can click on your image and see if it looks grainy or not. Uh, you want to have safe images, so if you have a, um, and, and if you get into nude uh, painting or whatever and um, want to have that, you can unsay, uncheck that uh, so that you don't have some child looking at your uh, <laughs> your painting that has a, a nude person on it. And now these are the different galleries you can create. I've pre-created these. I'm not going to put, well I could, I could put this in landscapes. I already have that. That's something you can create as you add more artwork. And uh, I've, I'm a member of one group. <laughs> you can be members of groups on here. I just really don't have the time for it. Now this is where you go in and you put in like your your descriptions. It, this is just a seven by five. Pastel paintings don't have a depth. That would be like for a canvas print. Um, I'm not going to put this one. Well, I can put this for sale. Yes. But I typically, I don't put the price. I let somebody contact me um, about the price. And I they can privately email you from Fine Art America. Now, I have preset in my defaults in here. Uh, they give you a little suggestion as to, like this is a greeting card. Uh, typically they had it here but I don't see it here now you don't want to add your markup for the card to be so much money because nobody's gonna buy it it's like my painting is so valuable I want to charge fifty dollars per card that I want to make and Fine Art America sells it for three ninety five so this is the Fine Art America price they would sell it for I only add 25 cents to it, okay, because I want people to be able to get it. And um, so I don't, you don't make a whole lot of money on these, but it's really just a neat way for you to offer it if you want to. Um, so then it's like you have your total and they give you options of if you want to sell more, there's a little bit of break, blah, 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 for other, other um, options of more cards than just one. Now, another thing too, you have these pillows and again they give you an idea of how to mark this up okay so I'm just showing you right here what I mark up my products for and uh, again you don't make a whole lot on these uh, or you shouldn't actually because like I said nobody's gonna buy it now this is interesting they have this duvet cover which kinda neat if you have a really high resolution image and you want a duvet cover for your bed um, or someone wants to buy it for their bed they can now you see how small this is this is because I don't have a high enough resolution well, I probably do, but let's let's let me show you how this would work. I'm going to click customize pro, uh, product, and I'm going to make it big. Uh, that's as big as it will go because the image is not that uh, large of a resolution. So that's what it would look like on a bed. Now that looks pretty dumb to me, so I don't want to offer my small painting on that. So all you do if you don't want to offer it, these were my defaults. I had set them up. Is you just get rid of them, and that won't show up now when you go to offer this product, okay? It looks kind of cool on a shower curtain. Okay, and uh, you just continue down with all of your products 
And again, if there's a product that you don't want to have it on, you just take the price away. Now here is, I don't particular, particularly like that background they have chosen for my t-shirt. So you can either pick white, um, which might look nice, um, or whatever. You've got options to do this. And also, just so you know, so does the buyer. Um, the buyer can change the color of their, their shirts or whatever, but if you want to make the default, um, you can do that. And I don't, you know, really like my paintings just on a t-shirt. You know, sometimes I just don't even have that available. I do like this uh, round rug. That's cool. So anyway, you get an idea. Look at all these products. I love these little notebooks. They're so cute. So anyway, all tons of products. You can search through here. And, um, oh, I love that. That's really neat on a coffee cup. So it's fun. So that's the, one of the main reasons for doing this is you, you get your artwork out there and you make it available for friends and family and you make it available for yourself, okay? Now I'm going to show you here where, um, notice how all those things were filled in for me already, okay? Uh, oh, I wanted to show one more thing down here at the bottom. Once your artwork is really um, growing, you're getting much better as an artist, uh, there's a part down here where you can offer image licensing for your artwork, which means other people can buy it for uh, digital images, advertisements and things. And a neat, neat thing you can do is you can offer it, and I don't always have mine offered like that, but you can click competitive website prices, you click Shutterstock, and it will fill in all of the uh, what they normally charge so you don't even have to worry about filling this in so that's totally up to you but again back to default options if you click set default options you can go into here and just go ahead and set what you want your markups to be so I'm just gonna have my throw pillows always at this my duvet covers always at this okay so it makes it easy you don't have to fill those in every time you add a new product okay okay so now that I have you know whenever you have all of your information filled out you basically just scroll down to the bottom and uh, there's a couple of other options you have. Uh, Fine Art America has something called digital picture frame streaming. Um, I just have it on. You get a little bit of money if you allow your image to be used in something they have where somebody buys this digital uh, picture thing and artwork just kind of scrolls through and you get a little bit of money every time. I've never noticed getting anything from that so I, I need to set my default to off to this because I don't want my artwork just in everybody's house unless they want it there. <laughs> this is um, if you have a Facebook page this is to where it will automatically every time you upload a product you'll get a little thing on your Facebook page if you click this to yes. Now some people have a personal page for Facebook and they have a fan page like I have my The Art of Susan Jenkins um, Facebook fan page okay so if you leave these to yes it will show up. Now I'm gonna click these off because if you remember I didn't fill out my information up there very well. <laughs> it also has the same one for Twitter okay so you can have those checked once you have everything in there correctly. Now I'm just gonna hit submit and then it should add that product to my Fine Art America uh, profile and also to my Pixels website. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my, um, see there it is, okay. So now if anybody's looking for this painting, they can see it. And again, I'm going to go back to this, you remember how I talked about that little um, high resolution thing where people can click and see, does that look okay? I often just use this myself to make sure, yeah, see, you can zoomed in, you can actually see the little pastels and the um, the graininess of the paper. So, so that's pretty good. It's not too blurry or anything. So that should actually print really well, even though it was just from an iPhone. Um, now I do go in sometimes and adjust things to make sure they look accurate to the painting um, and some little photo editing software. So um, sometimes you can increase the, um, uh, the, um, detail that way as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how just if you go back to your your Pixels page now, your Pixels website, um, that you can look and see, I could have typed it in, but this is just a fast way to do it, that that was actually added to um, your page. So now I've got my winner's exodus and somebody can go in and look at it and uh, you can share it on Facebook and and it's just awesome to be able to have your artwork available as products and as prints for for people that you know and uh, people that are just happen to be searching around on Fine Art America and they might see your painting and go wow I gotta have a print of that. Another thing too is that sometimes it's um, for people who are not uh, computer savvy uh, I 
fortunately and blessed that I got to major in graphic design and even though I'm old now <laughs> I'm 53 now I've kept up pretty much um, with a lot of the technology uh, not by any means what the younger students are doing today but enough to maneuver around and get things done but for those of you who aren't computer savvy this might be a neat way for you to get some artwork uploaded not only that but to have a little uh, like your own little website of your artwork whether it's even for selling products you can at least have people just scroll through and see your paintings so I really hope this has helped guys and um, and I would love it if you give me some comments in this video um, I'd like to keep my YouTube channel primarily for teaching pastels so I don't want to deviate from that too much but just let me know if this was a helpful video to you for you and again if you'd like to order a Monet Cafe coffee cup um, I'll also have to provide the link for the apron very handy for pastel artists you know we get dusty and messy guys so um, the apron is actually on a different site called zazzle.com I'll provide the link for where the apron is because once again the the fine art america site does not offer aprons so anyway guys uh, i just pray you are enjoying um, your painting and your endeavor in art and that you just grow and learn and enjoy this beautiful thing called art all right guys i hope to make a video soon and we'll see you later